Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you a fourth way of adding pictures to your page. So I've shown you in the other demos, you can go into insert and select an, a picture. And here are three different options. There is actually a fourth one. It's not so commonly used, but if you've used previous versions of SharePoint, you're probably very familiar with this before. SharePoint 2010, this was the only way to add images. You would go into the web part gallery, find the media and content and go into the image viewer, select one and just add that web part. And then of course you would have to go into your web part tool pane here on the edit web part, find the URL to the image that you want to show and type that in actually. Let me just do this. I'll just open this in a new tab so that I can just select one of the existing images on this page. And of course they are in the site assets here. As you'll notice, this is a rather painful way of adding pictures, but I want to show you this method is still available. I'm just going to copy that link there, that link, and then go in there, paste that in there. There we go. We do have some other options here, like the transparency color, stuff like that. It's interesting, the horizontal and vertical alignment, but uh, usually it's much, much easier to use the other ways of displaying an image that I've already shown you. But I wanted to show you that this web part is still available. And of course you don't want the image viewer web part um, Chrome to be visible there. So instead of showing that, I'm going to go into the web part again and on the appearance tab here, I'm going to select the Chrome type none. That will make it look much cleaner, of course. There we go. Now I have an image displayed in the image viewer web part. Thank you for watching this demo.